Did you know that for this movie, director Adam Wingard views Kong as the true main character of the MonsterVerse? While being a fan of Godzilla, Wingard admitted Kong is easier to relate to, stating, you can't be as close to Godzilla as you can be with Kong. I just got back from seeing Kong, Godzilla the New Empire, at a really really fun time. Seeing it is one of those movie experiences where you just have to see a movie like this on the biggest screen possible. And I got a lot of great things to say about this movie, but there's a couple of things that I wasn't a big fan of, but I will save that for the end. First thing I liked about this movie is I really enjoyed the world building. Done in this movie, we get back to Hollow Earth, but there's also a couple other Earths below Hollow Earth. We got to see a lot more of the Iwi tribe being showcased in this movie. It's the dangers and the mystery of Hollow Earth and just the many things that the scientists there are trying to find out more about and lots of deep ancient history that was really cool to just dive deep into. There were a couple moments in the movie that had some pretty good suspense building. It was really building all up to the Scar King and why he was such a big deal. Everything was building up to this big reveal and when we see the Scar King get revealed, the suspense was totally worth it. I have to talk about the Scar King. He was awesome. According to the director, Adam Wingard, the Scar King symbolizes how bad and evil humanity can get and Kong represents the good side of humanity. So we have these two opposites clashing with each other. Scar King just has such a presence on screen. He really felt a lot like a slave driver. There were species of monkeys there that were basically under his control. He was abusing them. He had control of Shimo as well, so they were terrified of him. You know, just the whole presence, the whole idea of the Scar King was something I really, really loved, and I actually want to see more of the Scar King. I really would love to see them bring the Scar King back for maybe like a prequel or something, because he was an incredibly interesting character. And of course, my favorite part of this movie was all the fight scenes. There were plenty of fight scenes to go around. And every fight scene added one extra character to make the, the fight even more epic. We built it up to the WWE Smackdown fight between Kong Godzilla versus Shimo and the Scar King. And let me tell you, it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I was flipping on in theaters watching this. They were just going crazy, just slamming each other, punching each other, just all sorts of craziness. This type of fight scenes between monsters is why we go to the theater to be entertained like we've never been entertained before. So the thing that I didn't like about this movie is I felt like it focused on humans way too much. I understand that the humans do play a part in the movie, but I wanted to get more into more of like the monster characters. I want to find out more about them. Instead, we keep getting sidetracked by witty banter between scientists. We get to find out a little more about Gia. I mean, it was cool to see the Iwi tribe being represented, but it pulled way too much focus. We want to see monsters. We want to know more about monsters. We could care less about the humans because this is a monster movie, not a human movie. And then the other thing is there really wasn't a plot to this movie. I mean, I got to like a halfway point in the movie and I was trying to figure out what is the story here? What's the plot? And there didn't really seem to be one. It was just more of like, I don't know what it was. I don't really know what the, the storyline was supposed to be. It was really hard to pinpoint a plot to this movie because it just seemed all over the place. But then again, this movie isn't really supposed to be about the plot. It's about monsters fighting. So I can kind of understand why the plot wasn't really fleshed out. But this movie, it was it was just awesome. This movie was so awesome. I highly encourage everyone, go see this movie as soon as you possibly can on the biggest screen possible. So for Godzilla Kong The New Empire, I'm going to give it a six and a half out of 10 mud flaps. And remember, leave me a thumbs up and drop in the comments below. Who's your favorite monster for the MonsterVerse? See you next time.